Welcome back to another edition of Biff Baxter and the Motherboards.org News. Top headlines. You guys all know that the new iPad is coming out, Generation 3. Has a 2048 by 1536 retina display. Now this thing's got all kinds of features on it that are going to be really cool. It's got a dual core processor, has 10 hours of battery life, and on 4G has 9 hours of battery life. Really cool stuff. 9.7 inch screen. But there's also something that's really kind of whack about this new iPad. I mean, let's talk about the camera. On the front of the camera, they have a whacked out standard VGA camera. And then they have a 5 megapixel camera on the back of it. Now that doesn't make really much sense whatsoever. I mean, really, what kind of jackass is going to go around trying to film themselves running around with their little pad trying to film something? Come on, buddy. Dad is trying to catch a video. Stay still, little guy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I mean, seriously. Moving on. The people over to Lenovo, mmm, it's a sad, sad day over there. The Biff is not liking what he's hearing. 50,000 of their M70 and M90Z all-in-one units have been recalled. Now the all-in-one is a nice big push by the people at Intel. You guys have seen Doc review a few of those, but these particular ones are having a power problem. What is happening is when you plug these things in, when the power generated, some of them are actually catching on fire. Now, you guys know the Biff and how he feels about fire. Oh! Next up on the Bit Baxter News, Ivy Bridge. You guys have all been looking forward to it, and there's some latest news that have just popped about the new i7-3770. Now, this CPU is going to feature HD 4000 graphics on board. Previous generations had HD 3000. Crisis Warhead, I know this game's not as hard as the original Crisis one, but they're showing at least 33% increases with the new HD 4000 over HD 3000 graphics. So that means the onboard graphics of the new Ivy Bridge are going to be far superior than previous generations, which will be great in the all in wonder and their laptop series and Ultrabook series of products. And the most exciting news of the week, NVIDIA fans, it's going to be time to rejoice. Your long await is about to come to its quest finality. The specs have been released for the new GTX 680. The GTX 680 is rumored to have a 1536 CUDA cores and a 256 bit memory controller connected to 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. 4 gigabytes will also be an option. The core is rumored to sit at 705 megahertz, while the shaders will be clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, and the memory will be clocked at 2 gigahertz QDR, 6 gigahertz effective, and should be capable of 192 gigabytes a second transfer rates. What's more exciting though is what happened at this year's Game Developers Conference. Epic Games and NVIDIA presented a Samaritan demo running one Kepler GPU. Last year they presented the same demo, but it took three GTX 580s to generate the same acceptable frame rates. Ah! Impressive. This is Biff Baxter. I'll see you next week in Biff Baxter's edition of The News. <laughs>